Hi, I'm Brad. Welcome to my guitar studio. I'd like to take a few minutes to show you around a little bit, introduce you to a couple of my students, and give you an idea of what taking lessons here is like. I want you to sing this part to yourself. Very good. All uh, right. I like this song um, a lot. I like to hear that. Um, good. I was just kind of messing around with it a little bit, but um, yeah, then I eventually downloaded it just to <laughs> just to hear a lot of conversation because I actually didn't didn't know that song. You never heard it. Yeah, it's a trip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's the classic Leonard Cohen sort of like uh, the translation from the German is approximately sing speak. Uh, where he's sort of telling a story, almost in a talking voice, through most of it. You know? Yeah. It's cool. Pretty good with most of the chords, but I kind of screw up sometimes. Really, really lay into it a little bit. Uh, you know, something more like... Oops. Maybe hit the right strings. <laughs> Sitting here, it's got a lot more drive to it that way. One thing that helps accomplish that, uh, it's cool that you went ahead and learned the rhythm. It allows us to get into a little bit more detail. This is what's called an accent, a little greater than symbol. Okay. Uh, and it just means to play that one louder than everything else. And it'll help you sort of get the kind of waltz feel that this tune has, and it'll also help you uh, bring the dynamics up a little bit sooner. Yeah. So what's going on here is you've got this a fairly common pattern in jazz tunes. The root of the chords is descending chromatically from E to E flat to D to D flat. On the guitar, that's really easy. And it's alternating between the minor chord and the dominant seventh chord. So you can use this, these two chord shapes to play through this whole thing. Not a whole lot to it. You just keep your index finger in place. So that would be D. So move up. We want, we want E minor. We want to start with E minor seven. Yep, and stretch out your next finger. You think, yeah, you got it. This. You got it. Right. Very cool. Very easy. It makes piano players jealous. That's it. You know, in order to make that happen. Yeah. Here's the catch with chords. This isn't the hard part, right? It's getting from here. Yeah, to here, like it's like right? okay. I can play it right now. Right, like exactly. Switching it but you've already done the hard work. So, yeah. to begin with, let's just do this. Uh, let's take that sequence of three chords: the G major seven, then the C major seven, and the F sharp minor seven, blah, blah, blah. and just cycle those three chords a bunch of times. <laughs>
try to, uh, you were good through the first part with the bends, but when you got to the, you petered out a little bit there. So try to really hear your internal tempo. You know, if it's going to be that fast, try to keep that, like your internal metronome, sort of don't let it drift too much. Uh, take it again. Relax your right hand. My right hand? Yeah, your hand and your arm. Really Sorry, shoot. You go. Could you write out a 12 bar blues in G? In G? Yeah. sure of is you, there's sort of this crazy um, thing with the diminished chords. You can just sort of so uh, extend this by going down. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, something cool. like yeah. that would be. I like that. <laughs> I like the augmented chord there. I think that's gorgeous. But cool. Interesting. It's kind of yeah. It's kind of got the Eastern flavor to it. It that, does. It doesn't that, have that to, but it's yeah. it's it takes some work to get away from it. <laughs> uh, yeah. You want food? That's what you want. <laughs> All right. So uh, oh. yeah. Any questions on anything? No. All right. Great. Uh, hopefully keep you busy for me. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See you soon.